Hello my friends, welcome back to another playthrough. My name is Schmidt Wild, you can call me Shimmy. Today I'm gonna bring the continuation of Ease 1 Chronicles, which is Ease 2 Chronicles, also known as Ancient Ease Vanished, the final chapter. Now this is a direct sequel from the first game that I already covered here on my channel. A very nice game, I might add. I enjoyed a lot playing it, despite getting my ass kicked a few times. But that's mostly my fault and not the game's. So, yeah. Um, as far as I know, this game plays pretty much the same as the previous one. It has a few new mechanics, like I know there is some uh, a new magic me mechanic in the game. So we'll see how that's gonna play out. And if you follow my last playthrough of Ease 1, you'll notice on the last part, on the last boss, I told about the differences between playing the game on 60 FPS and 144 FPS. As you can see on the top left corner of the screen, it is showing 144, and I'm gonna stick with that. Until I, I noticed that the game is really harder than it should, then I'll, I'll consider lowering. But for the time being, it will be at 144, and I will play the game on a nightmare difficulty again. Why? Because apparently I have no value for my sanity. I got quite bad on my last playthrough, but in the end I I managed to beat, so I f it felt good in the end, so that's what I'm going for here. Let's try to play this game on, on Nightmare difficulty, see what's that all about. And without further ado, let's start Ease True Chronicles. Has overcome the challenges of Darm Tower, my lord. How shall we proceed? This Edo Crystal Perseverance is admirable. Let's see how far he can go. Very good, sir. Awesome intro, as always. 
Are you alright? Who are you? Thank goodness. My name is Lydia. I'm from Lance Village. Where am I? You're near the village. In the land of ease. I had a premonition and wandered this way. And suddenly, there you were, falling from the sky, bathed in the most spectacular light. He fell out of the sky? Yes, that's what it looked like anyway. How is he, Leonor? I think that should do it. His wounds aren't particularly dire. He'll be fine, just needs a little rest. Look, he's coming too. Just relax, please. This is a safe place. My mother and I live here. What's your name? I think I was saying his name wrong on, on the, the first playthrough. I keep saying Adol, but I think it's pronounced Adol. I hope that you guys don't mind. I, I mean, I know the correct way, but I, I'll probably keep saying Adol for some reason. Adol gave his name. Adol Christen, your injuries are nothing serious. You're going to be just fine. Just a bit, just with a bit of rest. Lilia, Banoa, try to let him sleep for a while, as long as he needs. I should be getting back to the clinic. My brothers likely return by now. Thanks for your help. We'll answer your questions later, Aido. For now, get some sleep. You need it. Here we are again. It's been a long time since I last played the game. Well now, if it is a NATO. Should you really be up and about already? Your wounds are still fresh. You must strain yourself, recover fully, then proceed on whatever quest you're undertaken. Speak to Vanoa. About ease. This land has been called East for ages. You speak as if it as if you just got here. Are you from another world or something? This is Lens Village in East. You collapsed near a place we call the Ruins of Mundoria. Please make yourself at home. Have a look around the village if you like. Tell me about Mundoria. These days Mundoria is in shambles. In its heyday, though, it flourished under the jurisdiction of the priests. Ever since the demon showed up, though, none of the villagers dared to go near it. Well, almost none. Rastini. Rastini mine is particularly dangerous, you see, so we keep the entrance under constant guard. Yeah, tell me more about the mine. There are some old ruins intermixed with the mine tunnels at Rastini. I don't or herbs are quite abundant. I don't or and herbs are quite abundant around such spots. We often gather them and call it mining. But ever since the demon showed up, well, even our half-hearted version of mining seems se has seemed far less viable. Doctor Flyer still goes down to pick herbs every now and again, though, despite our best efforts to, to convince him not to. Tell me about Banua. My husband passed away when Lilia was very young, so it's just been the two of us for most of our life. Lilia is the only reason I've been able to cope with the horrors that continue to plague us here. If I were ever to lose her. Tell me about yourself. Oh, it's you, you are Banua. Okay. It's weird. The. Uh, it's Lilia's house and not Banoza. Okay, I did not pay attention to that. 
Lily is out at the moment. She took a basket with her, so I believe she's picking apples. If you go out for a walk, you may run into her. Okay. Are you honestly feeling better? Don't lie to me. If you're still injured, you should rest. If you're going out, Edo, I have a favor to ask. Could you deliver this letter to Leonor's brother, Dr. Flair? Lily may look well, but in truth, she suffers from a severe illness. I'd like to discuss it with Dr. Flair, but I don't think he'll come back to the village yet. And if something has done... And if something isn't done soon, I fear what may become of my poor daughter. So would you please search for Dr. Flair on my behalf and give him this letter for me? I suppose the best place to start looking is for him is at the clinic. It's possible he returned without me realizing it. I feel so bad for the poor girl. She doesn't even know she's sick. Colt, I haven't seen you before, mister. Where are you from? Far, far away? Mister, there's nothing far from here. Just because I'm a kid, do you think I'm stupid or something? Well, I'd rather not say anything. Hello, Tita. Awesome, awesome. Those books you've got are so cool. Apparently this is the clinic. Oh, this is terrible, just awful. What's with all the shouting, Leonor? It's... It's a carrier pigeon that just arrived, with a note from Dr. Flair. There was a cave-in at the Res Restini mine. The rocks have blocked the passage, and I'm trapped. I can only pray this bird makes it back with my ladder. If you're reading this, please send help. I, I love this song, man. It's so, it's so relaxing. <laughs> this is terrible. You mean to tell me that Dr. Flair is trapped in the abandoned Rastini mine? So we would see him. I don't know what to do. I'll be completely lost down in that mine, and the demons would overpower me in a second. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm powerless. Wait. We have a swordsman among us. Otto, won't you please go to Dr. Flair's aid? Please, I beg of you, rescue my brother. We need him here. Now more than ever. Yes, Otto, please. It would mean a great deal to me as well. Sure. Thank you. What's that? Bano asked you to deliver a letter to my brother? Alright, go. Go, oh, Bano. With the two of us pressuring you to find him, you really have no choice but to give in. I don't have much to give, but please, use this to buy some new equipment. Only that? Judging by the prices on the last game, I don't think that's gonna be enough. We're counting on you, Wado. Show us what you're made of. Oh, and Ado. Just so you know. You'll find Asto guarding the entrance to the ruins. He won't let you in without the Elder's permission, so you may wish to drop by the Elder's house before you go. I'm so worried. Please, Edo, bring my brother back safely from the ruins. Ooh, hello. Thank you for agreeing to help, Edo. Please, do your best to find Dr. Flair. The cinemine is a dangerous place, so don't push your luck. If you get hurt, turn back. You need the elder's permission to enter too, so be sure to pay him a visit before you leave. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to buy anything. Take care. Ok, 
okay, these are the people from the first game, I believe. Fina and Rhea, Goban, Luta Gemma, Jabba Jova, Sarah. A dark fact, the motherfucking dark fact. Dogi, Priest Tova, Priest Debbie, Mesa, Hado. Gemma and Fact. I'll try to talk to everyone in the village first. Although it seems to be a very large village, this one. Eska. You're the traveler who's been staying at Lydia's house, no? You look well. Feeling better, I take it. Lily was worried sick about you. Ah, you know. She's a very pretty young lady, and as sweet as a bucket of sugar. And you... you're not so bad looking yourself. You never know. You two might be a match made in heaven. Okay, yeah, apparently in this game they don't have different dialogues. Too bad. Hello. Hello, the masters of the house aren't in right now, I'm afraid. But do make yourself at home. If you wish. If you wish, okay. Me, I'm Master Astol's housekeeper. Astol and old man Legs both live here. Though they are not related to one another. Astol and Legs are almost always in the ruins of Mundoria. Day in and day out. They're obsessed. If you need to see them for something, I guarantee that's where you'll find them. This is the house that I, I was before, right? Yeah. Okay, I've talked to you before. Laszlo. This is driving me crazy. I haven't been able to go down into the mine to look for iron ore since the demon showed up. I wish I could make armor again, but I've got no metal to use, and no Picard skin doesn't work, believe me. Yeah, they don't have different dialogues, okay. Locate. There's an old mine under the ruins of Mondoria. It was closed a long time ago when the ore's deposits started drying up. And then, six months ago, the demon showed up. The lack of war and the monsters alike are causing no end of grief for boats and the other miners. <coughs> hot before hot legs, okay. Okay, I already talked to you, right? Okay. Brody, Beth, and Marina's residence. Hello, Beth. Aren't you the one who was found unconscious in the field? Why on ease were you there in the first place? Oh, you don't remember? You seem like a nice young man. You should rest and re recuperate. Maybe then he'll come to you. Beware the follies of youth, young man. Being young means feeling like you're invincible, but know this, you aren't. Hey Brody, all the depressing rumors flying around lately have been getting me down. Damnable demons, if it weren't for them, ease would be a veritable paradise. The old Rustini mine has become far too dangerous to enter these days, thanks to the demons. Since we can't look for medicinal herbs or mine for ore as a result, prices are very much on the right. I don't like that at all. Come on. Both Sheila, Chris and Ciri's house. Oh dear, I just don't know what to do. I don't think I can face either Dr. Flair or Laszlo as things stand. 
Because of the demons in the mine, I haven't been able to get in there to restock iron ore or medicinal herbs. I have a wife and two daughters at home, you see, so I simply can't afford to risk my life like that. Yeah, you're a smart person. We're twins! Twins! Even our dad can tell us apart. Can't tell, can't tell. Our mother can tell us apart either. Can't tell, can't tell. Even we can tell us apart. Nope, can't tell. Wait, is that true? We can tell each other apart just fine, big sis. Nope, I'm the little sis. Oh yeah, I guess you are. Does that count as one or two entries in the... Sheila, my husband's a miner. It's his job to look for herbs and iron ore in the abandoned Racini mine. But both have been swarming with demons lately, so the going is not easy. You live on separate. You sleep on separate beds. Why? Hello. I'm looking after the Picards. There are five Picards in the pen. Five. Ha ha ha. Indeed there are. No. I don't want to talk to you. I want to see if there's someone walking around here. I feel an evil presence in Jilla's basement. I hate to be a pessimist, but... What if there are demons down there? Da, 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 da. Polo. Ah. Hmm? Where am I saying, you ask? I was just thinking about the heavenly taste of that road of fruit I found in the ruins once. It was divinely scrumptious. If I could eat just one more in my lifetime, then I feel as I could die happy. I'm not willing to risk it though. Not with all those demons around. I hear a lot of rumors, and no one, sp and one speaks of an old stone tablet enshrined within the ruins of Mondoria. Supposedly, it details a mystical location known as the Sanctuary of Toll. Finding it might make for an interesting goal to set in your adventure, if you set. If you should feel so inclined. Hey, can you tell? Can I tell you something? Just between you and me. Swear you won't tell another soul. When I go to bed at night, I hear the most dreadful screaming and clattering coming from beneath the village. Maybe it's all in my head, but it just seems so real. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. If this doesn't stop soon, I swear I'm going to lose it. Hey, Teal. I raise speakers here. But with all the demons running around these days, I can't put them out to pasture anymore. So we are raising them here. And my annoying little sister likes to keep an eye on them. You I already talked to, right? Yeah. As with the first game, the 
the beginning of this one will be mostly dialogue, so... I guess by now you guys already figured that out, right? All our ore gratefully accepted bring our stock to Giru's armory. Have you heard of the ringing sound coming from beneath the village? There are rumors going around that it sounds... It's the sound of some bell used to summon demons. What we need is a bell to keep them away, not draw them. Hey, you're collecting apples, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, Lilia. Ado, are you sure it's okay for you to go outside? Thank goodness. Leonor said you'd be fine, but I couldn't help being worried until I saw you recover with my own eyes. Here, I have an apple for you. They say one they say one each day keeps Dr. Flare away. I pick it myself. Remind me sometimes I'll show you where the best apple trees can be found. Apples are quite popular here in Lance Village. I always give the give the apples I pick to the other villagers. Remind me sometimes and I'll show you where the best apple trees can be found. Dr. Fleur has injured in the Rustini mine. How awful. Yeah, and yet you do nothing about it. And why I can't see myself? Hold on. I was supposed to see myself there, weren't I? Anyway. The other. I heard there used to be six kinds of magic in ease, one handed down by each of the six priests. Legs is always going on about it. In fact, I'll bet he's off at the ruins again right now, staring at the goddess's statue all creepily. Elder's residence, Cornel and Natasha. Look at that. Oh, sorry, cat. I didn't see you there. Looking for my husband? He's sunbathing out front. Okay. I didn't see him. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, you must be the man Lily found in the field. Hey, was it? My name is Cornell. I serve as his village's elder, and I actually have a question for you. I was walking in the ruins the other day when I crossed ways with a pair of young girls. They were also from the surface. I would have asked them their names, but I was taken ab aback by their beauty. They looked just like the goddesses. Without thinking, I began tailing them for a short while, but then they simply disappeared. Maybe I was just hallucinating. Anyway, I understand you have six ancient books with you. Might I please have a look at them? Edo showed the Book of Ease to the other. Hmm, yes, there's no doubt about it. These are the books that the priests of Ease handed out to their descendants. This may very well serve as proof that the priests themselves have guided you here to Ease. Each holds the thoughts and memories of one of the six priests. There is a place in the Rastini mine known as the Sanctuary of Toll, where a statue of each, of each priest has been erected. I believe your next course of action should be to return the books to, to the hands of these statues. When all six books have been returned to the priests, you may learn the nature of your destiny here in Ease. The entrance to the Rastini mine is in the ruins of Montoria, to the north of the village. A man named Esto stands guard there. But you tell him that I but if you tell him that I've given my blessing, he'll let you through. What? Flair has been involved in an accident in the mine? That's terrible news. Will you be going to his aid? You should have no trouble, I think. After all, 
the priests are guiding you. But do be careful, I'm sure you hear this a lot, but it's true. You may very well be our only hope, Edo Christian. I think I spoke to everyone outside roaming around the village. I think. So let's start to go inside the houses. What's up? Did you need something? Leave me be. If you have no business with me, then please just go. Don't disturb my solitude. I loathe uncivilized ruffians. There's nothing I like better than not being bothered. So, if there's nothing you need, then I'll ask you, please let yourself out. As if ease weren't already full of enough problems. I've got all of these horrific noises coming from my basement. Oh, it's closed. Perhaps I, I'll have to come here later then. I hope, right? Because if there's something lurking down there, I need to kill it. I apologize if I take a little longer to, to move because I'm taking a sip of my beverage. Here I already came, okay. Fine. That's the elder's house. Home of Laszlo, Tess and Tran. My husband is an armorsmith, but he hasn't been able to work for some time on account of his iron ore running low. I can't bear to him like this. That's a really good armorsmith, but he hasn't been able to make armor for a while because of his no because he has no iron. All he does now is wander the village like a loon. I hate seeing him like that on numerous levels. I wonder if he can give me some free armor because I mean I am trying to save the doc the villagers villagers doctor so it would be wise to help the the person who wants to s help the village, right? I could be wrong though, but okay. I'm just checking if I haven't missed anything. Apparently not. Hello. Welcome. I sell swords, shields and armor here. My stock's a bit low right now, but do feel free to look around. There are demons all over out there. Going outside, outside with no weapons or armor would be suicide. You should make certain you are well prepared before leaving the confines of the village. Let me speak to you. I really wish I had a better selection for you, but we just don't have the materials we need. It's just too risky to look for ore while Rustini is swarming with demons. A friend of mine is a miner, so I asked him about it, but he said there's no way he's going down there. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't want to risk my life down there either. But that's why we don't have any real good armor here. Laszlo is, a, is an excellent armorsmith. But he isn't really able to do much with his skills these days. If I just have some iron ore, I'll be able to just head over to get some really high quality armor made. Okay. A uh, short sword. How much for a short sword? Uh, 200, come on. 
How about a shield? Oh, we can buy a... I think I'll buy a wooden shield and a... A short sword then. Thank you, Guido. Thanks for your business. Come again soon. Hello, sir. Welcome. What would you like? I want to talk to you. I can't say I've got the best talk in the world or anything, but then, who does in these trying times? No real must buys, but the wing is a pretty indispensable tool for travelers. Best not leave town without one. The rest, well, you might find something to buy. Depends on what you need, I suppose. I used to keep herbs in stock, but there hasn't been much point since Flair built his clinic. I don't mind though, really. It's more convenient this way. It's made a dent in the profits, but Flair much better at admitting, admitting demand than I ever was. I don't have anything to buy, so might as well just get out. Have I talked to everyone? Uh, there are two persons that I... Four. Four people I haven't talked. Talk to these guys there. This is the home I in the beginning, right? Lilia's house. No, I saw one legs. Oh, right. The housekeeper, okay. I think I haven't come here. No, I have. Come on. Then I. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Let's get out. Time to explore the area. I think this is where I was found. Ooh, look at that. Darm Tower. Very beautiful. Very pretty. Ooh. Acquired an apple. Another one. I'd assume the apples are... Yeah, restore health, okay. Hello there. It's a nice looking castle. Isn't this a wonderful place? It's my absolute favorite spot. I have to wonder where the demons originated from. I mean, looking at these from this vantage point, it just seems so peaceful and inviting. Hey though, look there, across the field. Do you see that frozen cliff? That's the ice ridge of Notia. And the building on top of the ice ridge is Solomon Shrine, where the goddesses used to live. We only ever seen it from here, 
None of us have ever actually gone there. I wonder what's, what it's like. Well, I'm off to pick flowers. Take care, Aido. Nice looking place, indeed. I love Merv flowers. They grow all over the field, so they are not exactly rare. But there's something magical about them that just fills me with energy. Maybe I can give to her? Are we gonna start a romance here? Or maybe not. What does he do? Give Murdy flower. Oh my, is this for me? Thank you so much, you've made me so very happy. Give another one. Okay, do I have like to collect all of the Merle flowers and give to her? Perhaps if I give her enough, she would give me something else in return. Just need to find more. Okay, this is the entrance of the the village. Okay. All right. I can see some ruins here. Probably the way to go. Obviously. The bump system is back. Edo attacks enemies by running into them. His sword is swung automatically without pressing any keys or buttons. Although Edo is able to harm enemies by attacking them off center or from behind, his 2 also allows him to strike enemies successfully almost 100% of the time by approaching from a diagonal direction. Alternate methods of attack may also become available as the game progresses. Time for a sip. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't wanna... I can't forget to save the game. Okay, I am uh, taking a lot of damage there. Maybe it's because I'm on Nightmare? I don't know. Oh, there's a chest over there. Give me! Give me the chest! Can I get the chest? I can't. Restore health. I don't wanna. And it's. Oh, look at that. Acquire the ancient tablet. A stone tablet describing the Books of Ease and the Sanctuary of Toll. Who like that? I don't remember the name of the NPC, but I, I was told about it. Okay, that's nice. That is very nice.
level up again. Damn it. Pretty fast. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just surprised. Hello. Hey there, I'm Asto from Lance Village. You're ready, though, right? It's good to see you're feeling better. What's that you say? Dr. Flyers has been involved in a cave-in? How awful! So, you've come to rescue him then, I suppose. But I can't open this door without the Elder's permis permission. Oh, you have permission. Well then, in you go. I appreciate it. But before I go inside, I want to explore the area a little bit more. There are a lot of demons roaming the abandoned Racine mine these days. The villagers don't go down there at all anymore. Save for when they need medical herbs. Medicinal herbs. And even then, it's usually just Dr. Flair himself. So do be careful down there, okay? Hey, take an apple. Thank you, my friend. We tour about passengers on a ride on life. And when one wishes to sit, the other shall politely stand. Ooh, okay, hold on. This new item system is interesting. It's gonna take a, a little while for me to get used to, but... I think I can... I dig it, I think I dig it. Hello. Can't do anything there. Who are you? Legs. Hey? <laughs> Who might you be? Oh wait, I know. You're the boy Benoa was looking after. Ada, was it? My name, believe it or not, is Legs. But you may call me the Legman, if you're so desire. So, look like you're a swordsman of some skill. As such, I have a favor to ask of you. Nah, best if I don't. They're not yet strong enough to handle the power of the priests. Mm, perhaps I have to talk to you later. It's a statue of the two goddesses of ease. Okay, I need to remember this area. I guarantee I have to come back here later. I guarantee! Do we have anything else around here? A row of fruit, ooh, nice! Ooh, perhaps I can give the row of fruit to the guy who who actually wanted to, to eat it, right? I wonder if it's gonna be any useful for me. Otherwise, I'll keep it for myself. Come on, restore the life. I think before we leave the... We end the, the episode. I'll try to talk to that guy. If I, if I can find him. I don't know if I can find him. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, let me unequip that because, you know, it's easier. Oh, that's the guy that I, I need to talk, okay. Give her the fruit. Thanks for the gift. You're probably the 20th best friend in the world. Is that it? Oh man, that was not worth it. <laughs> okay, my my mistake, I guess.
the the health regeneration in this game is way slower than it used to be. It's gonna make things a little bit more tedious. Both for me and for you guys. But before we go, let me end the episode. As far as I know, this is a longer game the, than the first one. So it's probably gonna take a little longer for me to beat. From what I've read, the bosses are not that hard compared to the first game. But the regular enemies are a little bit troublesome. So I have to see how that's gonna fare in the long run. But that's it for now guys. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye bye.